north! The king of the north! Yo, as always, like, share, subscribe. Now let's just get into it. So Michigan will play Maryland this Saturday at 12 o'clock, I believe. And, you know, I originally thought Maryland was going to be probably better than they are. I know they've had a lot of injuries and things like that, but their season's kind of collapsed. They're 6-4 and four on the year, and they've lost to... Let's see. They've lost to Ohio State 37-17. They lost to Illinois 27-24. They lost to Northwestern, which is surprising, 33-27. And then they lost to Penn State 51-15. And honestly, I would say this, this game – I know it's some might say it's a trap game, which it kind of is. Well, it is. It is a trap game. But the thing about that is it actually comes at a good time because you're getting ready to play Ohio State and Marvin Harrison Jr. and Ibuka, Stover, you know. So you're you're playing a team that has weapons and and can sling it around. So the fact that the fact that uh, we have to play them before before Ohio State, I think it's a blessing in disguise because baby Tua, he's mobile, and I'll get to that in a minute. He's mobile, and he also um, – you just having good coverage isn't enough, and that's what you're going to see with Marvin Harrison Jr. and Ibuka, those guys. You're going to – you can have good coverage, and they're still going to throw those passes, so you're going to have to make a play. So I think it's a blessing in disguise to have to play uh, Maryland right before Ohio State. Now, Maryland's Maryland's um, Maryland's defense isn't that good. They've they've got one of the worst pass defenses in the nation. So I think this is a, also a game to you know get that pass game back going and. You, you might want to work on some different things with the offensive line, you know. But I know they're not going to run J.J. this game, but, you know, I know they're not going to do that, but you definitely want to figure out what's going on with Carson Barnhart and try to figure some things out there, you know, before we go into the, the game the week after. But Michigan should take this because Michigan's pass defense is very good. A couple, one of the other things I think that Michigan needs to tighten up, though, they need to tighten up the when a when a when they're dropping back into these zones and they're rushing three and things like that. One thing about it is those guys in the middle, whether it's a DN dropping to the middle or it's Barrett or Colson or Hausman, one of the linebackers. When, when they see the quarterback running running up and passing the line, you got to come up with some urgency. Like th those dudes were, for whatever reason, were running up tiptoeing. I guess they didn't, maybe they didn't know is 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 Alar past the line, is he not? But you got to run up with some fire. I don't know why y'all tiptoeing, why they were tiptoeing, second guessing. You got the quarterback running past the line. Come up and knock him out. And I know uh, I'm not sure who caused the strip sack. I mean the strip on that one play, but there were other plays where he was running, uh, running through the middle, and they were they, their reaction time was just slow. Like, bro, y'all, uh, you're looking, you're looking at the quarterback. You see him running past in the line, the line of scrimmage. Why are you tiptoeing up? You're supposed to be running up with fire under your butt, ready to knock him out. So I'm hoping that they that mentor has noticed noticed that and you know got on them about that because that's something that that's put on film. Okay, we can spread them out and call a QB draw and we can get five, six, seven yards sometimes. You know what I'm saying? In the right, in the right, going against the right defense. 
if we get the right defensive call, we can call a QB draw and get seven because these guys aren't running up with with any with any fire within any um with any uh the word slips my mind uh but uh yeah you got to run up with some fire so you know going against Tua and even going against McCord that's that's something that's on film so you know hey if it's an advantage coaches go, well, coaches will use it especially with baby Tua cuz he's kind of mobile so that's something to look out for is how they handle that but Michigan should be able to handle Maryland because Maryland's defense just isn't is it's not good, especially their pass defense, and Michigan's Michigan's coverages and the things that they do on defense it should just give them headaches. Now, this ain't that's not to, that's not to say that Mike Loxley won't call some good plays and be able to put his team in position to move the ball some but I just don't think they'll be able to do it consistently you know with the type of defenses we've been running and the way the defense has been causing turnovers I wouldn't be surprised to get a turnover or two out of out of baby Tua because he's good for he's good for at least one but let's get two out of them let's get two out of them you know what I'm saying so that's what I'm seeing but the other thing about this game Health. Just get out healthy. You want to get out of this game, want to have Blake healthy for once to play Ohio State because, honestly, that could be the, the, the wrinkle that they, you know, we we won 2021 with mainly Haskins. Blake Blake had that long run of, like, 50 yards where he got caught. He was, he was slick injured still, but he still took it, like, 50 and got caught. Then last year, no Blake at all. It was just Donovan. So this year could be Blake's year because you got guys like Zach Smith saying like, oh, Blake's, Blake Corum doesn't scare anybody and he doesn't scare anybody. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I hope Blake heard that too. Oh, I don't scare nobody. Okay. So we want to get out with Blake healthy, Donovan healthy. Uh, of course, J.J. Healthy, Roman, all the important guys, Kenneth Grant, Mason Graham, Junior Colson, Rod Moore, uh, Will Johnson, Josh Wallace. You want to come out with most your starters, at least healthy for sure, you know, going into the game in two weeks. So that's 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 the big thing, because I think I think Blake can be the equalizer this year that we haven't had. You know, because every game's different. You know, we haven't had him being the running back he is now, who who's just can be steady Eddie. But I'm not gonna get into the game. I'm gonna get into that. I'll get into that next week. But yeah, I think I think the big thing is get out of here healthy. Get up, get up. Don't give Maryland any hope. And you know, third quarter. JJ and the starters play maybe a drive or two and then sit them boys down and rest up for the game. But Michigan should be able to handle them. It'll be a good test for our pass defense, though, definitely, because Maryland is one of the better passing teams in in the country, honestly, with baby two. They're going to they're gonna sling that thing. So the corners, the safeties, this is a good game for them to – Make sure they're on point, especially the safeties, I think. Because Will Johnson, Will Johnson had a good test last week because they were throwing his way. So Will Johnson got a good test, Josh Wallace. But I think it's also important that the safeties get, get on point. Rod Moore, he's to me, Rod Moore's still not where he was 2022. So I think this is another game where they're going to be slinging it around where he can get his mojo back some more cuz we need we need Rod Moore from 2022-2021 going into the game especially with dude like Cade Stover. I'm not sure if Macari Page I I saw Macari Page out for a little bit. It doesn't say he's hurt, but they we wouldn't know if he was for sure anyway until Saturday pretty much when they put out the little press release of the actual injuries. But, uh, yeah, hopefully this is some good work for the safety so they can get their mojo how you want it and everything. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you know, also with the defense, I mean, I would say 
more run fits, but Maryland's not really a run team. They're they, they going to live and die with Tua for the most part. So, you know, Michigan did give up some 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 big runs against Penn State. So you would like to see – either way, they're going to run it some. You want to see that stuff cleaned up. You don't want to give up anything. You know what I'm saying? So we'll have to look, about, look at that also. But for the most part, this is just get up, get out of here healthy, and let's get ready for the game. Hopefully with no injuries to the starters or key players. But that's it. I don't I'm not sure if if Harbaugh is gonna be there or not. We'll see. But the team's gotta roll on without him. You know, you can't let let that stop us. Get to the playoff and he'll be back. End of story. But that's all I got for this one, y'all. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, go blue.